going on guys hit pause here with a quick little tip kind of slash tutorial on um, timers now I wanted to make out a special point here that um, this timer right here so when I when I op when this menu opens it's gonna run the this event which is basically begin play for a menu event co construct there so the, the moment that it constructs itself it's going to call that and what I've got is I've got a timer here for report values over time because I'd like for like the fields that because this is kinda like a mission report so I'd like for the fields for like how many kills you got and stuff like that to kinda go boom boom uh, if I show the the uh, image here I'd kinda like the uh, XP reward to go you know to appear 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 like one right after the other not just have it all always here and then after the final result you know and I want to play like kinda like a stamp sound like tsh, tsh, you know and then you know gong when you finally learn earn your XP right so that's that's the idea for that so but here's the thing here is the thing thing uh, when I open that when I open this mission results widget um, I actually pause the game for the final result and timers don't run when they're paused okay so what'll happen is when I play the game, one second, when I play and I pull the menu up myself, it will work. But when the game ends, because I have a special condition for when I pull the menu up myself, it does not pause the game by hitting the P key you'll see up here it will say that it's reporting the values so if I hit P and you look up here mission reporting values reporting values you can see them appearing on the thing the zero XP and whatnot right but when the mission ends yeah I am following you I wasn't really though you can go just get a kill out of this Okay, so when the mission ends, you'll notice nothing gets reported. I don't see any reports up here, and I don't see the text appear over time. So what's happening is the game is paused. So how do I get around this? Because I don't want the game to keep going. I want to have the game paused at the end. Well, what I can do is I can do this differently. I can report values over time, which, by the way, is managing itself by way of an integer so I have like a value index here so which starts off at zero okay but the first time it's ran the very first time it's ran it gets set to one so zero is never gonna fire so as soon as I run this it's gonna do this and it's just a simple switch on it so on the first one here we run to get the values for everything and then we set the text and then we do that again and when we get to the end I was originally clearing a timer but what I'm doing now differently is I'm creating my own timer by basically throwing a delay and restarting. When it gets to the last one, three here, it will play down here where I set the final result because I'm adding up all those values together. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not done yet, obviously. I've only got two of them being displayed right now. Okay, just, just the top two. But once this is done, um, when it gets to this index, which will be the last one, because uh, as I do this, I'm going to add more at for every field I need need one of these indexes and the, but I just gotta make sure that the last one goes to here and this one never sends to here so it'll go through every half second it'll be it'll behave exactly like a timer but this will happen while the game is paused as you will see here in a momento I got my dog scratching at the door so I'm trying to make this quick before I explode on him and get all mad at him punish him by not giving him a huge stake or something. This takes a long time to load, kind of. Okay, so, oh, thank goodness it's you, tickle shits. I was just out for some cheese, and those things came out, and I just, I just ran. Can you get me back? Yes, I can get you back because I've set your back point right here, instead of the entire mission. So I have purposely got him to just run to the back and then end the mission. So this is so I can test all of this stuff much quicker than me having to run through the entire mission. Okay, so now you'll see text appears over time, 
and I got my reporting values. So it actually did, you know, one, two, three, and eventually it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then, then this. And it'll probably go over to here and give you how much XP you're going to be right here, and then you'll get your ground total. And then based on how much experience, uh, I think uh, I got to calculate the, the total possible amount of experience, you'll get your grade, whether or not it be an A plus or an A or a B or an F or whatever. So that is how you can bypass that. Now the other thing that I just wanted to mention quickly was that um, delays don't work so well in a sequence. Um, let me do this. I'm going to go to the save all first. I'm going to go to the level blueprint and let's find my init which is around here somewhere. Okay, so it's right here. So let's just pull this away. Let's add another pin. And delays uh, are something that you need to take special care about because what you may be attempted to do once or twice, like I did, was this. So I'm going to print string delay And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw a delay in here of one second. I'm going to have each one of these things do this. So what you would think is going to happen is that when I start the game that it's going to go, okay, I'm going to come here and I'm going to delay and I'm going to sit here for one second and then I'm going to print the string. Then I'm going to come here and then I'm going to sit here for one second and I'm going to print the string. You would expect it to say delay, 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 but that's not what happens. What happens is it says, okay, I'm going to run this and I'm going to run this and then I'm going to run this and I'm going to run this and it does this instantaneously in each one of these things, logs their own delay start. But basically, it will run through this entire line, not wait at the delay. So what you'll notice is the way that the delay gets displayed. You've got to kind of pay attention up in the upper left-hand corner, the way just that the delay gets displayed. It should come in one every second. But you notice it only happened once. So you would think, oh, well, obviously they're all doing the same thing. So we'll do this. Each one delayed one second. Delay one. Delay two. Delay three. Delay four. And delay five. Okay. You would expect to see one, then two, then three, then four, then five. With a second delay in between them. But what you get is all of them at the exact same time with a single delay of one second. Okay. The only way to get this to actually happen is to do it like this so that it will in fact wait and now when we look at it so each each line in that sequence gets ran just compiled instantaneously one right after the other and the delay is kind of like a thing that tells it. See, delay 1, delay 2, delay 3, delay 4, and then delay 5. I hope you saw that up in the corner, but it came out every one second. Because in this case, it's waiting here, then this runs. And right immediately following after it, this runs. Right? And then it does the wait. So this, these two are fundamentally different. Fundamentally different. 
uh, you wouldn't have these hooked together if you were using this. But what will happen, like I said, just to explain it one more time, is that this will run and basically get this code into the queue. Then it'll get this code into the queue. Then it'll get this code into the queue. Then this code. Then this code. Each one being fired pretty much almost instantaneously, one right after the other, within milliseconds. And then each one having its own one second delay. So the delays aren't chaining together when you use this. Um, and I found that out kind of the hard way because I was trying to do that here, sort of delays on these things was my first attempt. But that doesn't in fact actually do anything. So hopefully you guys found that useful. And again, here's uh, how you can do your own um, your own self timer here. Just give yourself an index, do a switch. It depends on how many times. I mean, it depends on what. Um, circumstances you want to have clear the timer but in my case I just want to get to the end and then clear the timer so this is Hitboss signing off thanks for watching